So now... We got another star for our trouble. And a cop metal to boot. We have some coins for our trouble as well. And we also get the cloud power up and place inside the ship. Look at that! Yeah, I thought you brought back some kind of weird, uh, floaty souvenir. It's a cloud flower. Wow. Sure, there's some weird stuff out there, huh? Well, let's go back out and let's actually extend to passing this first world. Because, uh, it looks like we have a castle to take down. So let's go and do it, shall we? You have enough stars to advance? And Starship Mario was there at long last. Bowser Jr.'s fiery flotilla. Let's go after this thing. Gobble Guts Aching Belly. Our first main boss and grand star that we have to grab. And the comm metal is right there. This means this level is actually pretty darn short. Which is odd. Most of these most of the most of the Bowser Jr. levels are really short, where I think the Bowser levels are longer. In my honest opinion there. Nope. Yeah, <laughs> jump on top of you. And that's that. We'll take care of the door, open that door up. And Bowser Jr. has got his um, fancy mug all over the place. And this is playing his theme song. I always associate this- ah! <laughs> Okay, that was planned! Planned! I think they associated this theme with Bowser Jr. now. Like, there was in Smash 4, which was his theme, but... And Bowser Jr. going a little Dr. Eggman on us, are we? <laughs> you made it this far, huh? I won't need my dad's help to finish you off. I got a big surprise for you! Oh, Gobble Gut, dinner's on. Don't forget to protect your belly aching bolt. Ew. Ew! <laughs> and that's a uh, boss there, Gobblegut. As you can see, his Billy Bulges, that is his weak point. He has six hits. Oh, come on, can I actually do this? Can I actually hit his belly bulges? You want to hit his backside ones, but we can hit his front ones though easily though first. Hitting all six of them will uh, cause his death. After hitting three of them, he gets angrier. And with just as being angry, he actually goes a lot faster. And he's a lot more angry too. Look at him, he's red with anger. Once again. He wanted to basically... Uh, you want to take away his head around? Yeah, one cycle him. Well, technically two cycles, his first half and the second half, but that's actually pretty darn quick. And he is gone, and he had a grand star within him. Not bad at all. That was quick. Awesome. And that's that, folks. A grand star get. And what do we do with this star? A portal to the next world has opened up.
Gotta cut him out for our troubles. Wow, look at that. You did it. You brought back a Grand Star. That's great. Now we can use the power of that Grand Star to travel to another world. We're one step closer to achieving your special one, buddy. Though space and time to an unknown world we go. I'm jiggling just thinking about it. Ready, Captain? Yes! Let's go! Warp 8! Engage! Off we go! Alright. Wow, take a look at that. We found an entirely new world. Looks like we should be plenty of stars here. Go ahead, we're counting on you, Captain. Okay. Sorry about that wait there, folks. I'm going to cut that out a little bit. I was just, I was listening in to the game audio on, on playback. There, to make sure I won't be, not, I hope it's not, is not lagging behind. <laughs> I'm always, ca I'm always cautious about that. Uh, let's move into the next world here. We got Puzzle Plank Galaxy as our first star. Let's go get this baby. We also the puzzle pitcher block. The puzzling pitcher block for puzzle playing gout. Alright. Looks like we have to do some stuff here. I'm gonna be speeding right through this because uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff here that we can hit in if we want to. This causes star bits to appear. We hit this H, we go right down to the block. And we have to hit one of these switches. That switch did nothing. We also introduced two Wigglers. Wigglers are uh, a common enemy of Mario. It seems like he has to hit, he has to encounter one like every 3D game in some fashion. I think it's this switch. Yes, it is. Um, the other switches here generate more star bits and a little bonus uh, timing challenge with notes. And uh, we're going to be here. Um, this oh we have another coin Luma here. We're going to wait. We're going to wait on him. Like uh, we gave his uh, we gave his brother uh, priority last last uh, world that he was in. So we're going to let him simmer for a bit. He does need about, I think, 30 coins or so to uh, get his star. But we'll get to him once we get there. For now, we're getting the main, we're going to be getting the main star. But that pipe there will actually will get. Well, when we get to the actual to the bonus star here, that's what we'll do. Is that we'll I'll show off what that area is. That area is also has coins in it, I believe, so it's useful. We want to get that. We want to get this comet metal, though. Whoop, there we go. You could probably get it after that platform gone too, but it's probably a little bit more difficult. And then we got saw blades. If you're wondering about where the saw blades came from, uh, like in Mario Maker, well, this is this could be potentially the reason why they're there. Which ultimately would think that oh, that would be amazing, wouldn't it? A Mario Galaxy themed for Mario Maker. That would be kind of cool. Hey, you bug. All the... No! No! Well, that bug doomed. Off we go! That Luma's here. That means a boss is coming up, but we don't have enough star bits to actually use the shot. We need 30. We have 27. So we're off here, and let's fix this puzzle. By ground pounding, and the gravity's going a little wonky. Like it always is. There we go there. Hit this here. Bam, bam, boom ya! Yeah. Picture done! 
Who fixed the picture? I am angry. Who fixed this picture? Ow. Booyah. What? My child? You killed it? I am out angry. Come on. Ow. I landed. Somehow did I land on him? I landed on him after being hurt. <laughs> that, that, that goes to show you, depending on what plate, no matter how many places you do, you always find something of awkwardness to stand on or find out. It's always cool with that video games. All right. That's the comment medal and another star for our troubles. And now we can move on to more planets. But not just yet. We have another star to get here. Hey, looks like there's a few changes to the world map. Let's check it out. Oh yeah, that's true. The map does... That toad came back with you, right? He sure loves delivering mail. Go ahead and hear him. Maybe he's got something for you. Looks like he does. Let's go see. Hey, you, Toad. Hey, Mario. The stars are delivering mail. And my first letter is you. Dear Mario. Mario, I'm very far away right now, but I'm okay. I know you'll come save me. Yes, I've attached something to this letter. I hope I find it useful. Peach. Peach. Princess Peach included a one-up mushroom in her letter. Ah, even when she's kidnapped, the princess is so thoughtful. Well, come see me next time <clears throat> with my mail delivery. What happened to your voice? Ah, uh, don't mention it. Okay. It's one of the next star, but first, we have another tutorial. This is the Grand World Map. With the power of the Grand Star, we can travel great distances across space and time. Now we can travel to another world whenever you're ready, Captain. But since we have nothing to do here, let's go into World 2. And let's uh, get the mystery star that we saw earlier. Let's go get it. This time we actually have to go and find coins. We need coins, coins, coins. So let's find us some grandiose coins. We need them. That's Starbase. There we go. That's Starbase. Well, these Starbase are useful, sure, but we need coin, darn it. Where are the coins? <laughs> More star bits? Really? And then again, Wigglers are... Wigglers are also not a weird enemy that, uh... It drops star bits when it's dead. When it dies. So let's go after this. Uh, I guess we'll have to grab all the coins we can off of this place. Here, off of this planetoid. We'll get as many as we can, and then go into the secret area. We should be able to get all... We should be able to get all the coins on this planetoid to get to the secret star that is here, so. Uh, camera! Thank you. Dun, 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 dun. Gonna hit all the plants. Grab all the coins off of there. More star bits. We don't need star bits right now. Thank you, get your coin. Get these as well. Now let's go down this pipe and see what we can get out of it. And when we get this mystery coin... Coins, 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 coins. As long as you're moving and traveling a good line and a good pace, you should be able to have enough time to grab all the coins here. Or be like an idiot like me and avoid miss, miss one of them. 
There you go, 67 coins. That should be more than enough to get what we need to do. Hopefully. Luma! Hey, you! It's 70! I am off by 3! I am off by 3! How did I miss 3 coins? I must have missed some somehow at the start of the map. That's weird. Alright, well, I'm gonna have to return to map because we've already done this. And have to go get three more coins later at the start there. Somehow I missed it. Okay, let's go back into that one here. Back to this mission, mission again. Sorry about that. <laughs> That's gonna be a cut on my end. I must have somehow just missed three coins somewhere. I'm not sure where I missed three coins. We'll see what happens, right? I'm gonna double check this entire planetoid. There is no coins on the bottom here. As far as I'm aware of. Nothing over here. There's no coins here. We all know those are all star bits, so it must be here. Well, this is the, uh... Oh, come on! Well, I'm not gonna get that, whatever that was. Hope that was I'm hoping that was not coins, because that's lame if that was the case. Oh yeah, there we are. I should have hit those. That's the coins I missed. Now we will have plenty enough now. I should have hit that, that switch before. My bad, folks. My bad. Now we should have more than enough to actually do it. As long as I don't mess up that, uh... That little mini room here. Which is, I'll show it off again. Which is over here. Go down this pipe. Let's go get these stuff. Go over here, grab these coins. Like a so. We have 61. We have less than what we started with. <laughs> this is not a good sign. Not a good sign indeed. Oh, there we go. There's our extra coins we're missing. And then we'll get the ones on top here, along top, along with the enemy, and that should do us good. Give that coin. And we got 70. Alright. So if you do your work and such, you should get at least 72 stars. By doing so, so let's get those star bits and let's pay for another planet. To be born. Again, is it really being a making and buying planets? Is that even illegal in the universe? I guess so. Rough. A new planet is born. Let's go do this. This looks like a boss arena, it looks like. Why does it look like a boss arena to me? Well, kind of from my other session. I know what I'm going into. But first off, but more importantly though, this is a... Similar boss arena that was in Mario Galaxy 1. We have the same boss, no less. I missed. You hit him down on the ground like that, and now he's gonna get angrier. He does drop star bits after every hit, so. But we're getting, but he's getting higher off the ground. Land on his back, and that's it for hit two. And he's even more angry. He's got the red, you know, the red color of rage everywhere, and he's now dropping bombs everywhere. 
I need my power up back, please. No, I lost it. Where is he? No! Ah, I lost it again. Oh, I've had my I had my chance there. Oh, I messed up. No! I did. Why am I doing so horribly on this one? My last session, I did this in. Like uh, the session I can't anyway. Booyah! Take that! Star is ours now. Let's do it! Bum, 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 bum. Stars ours, and that galaxy is done for the time being. Bugabum's back. That's what that star is called. Alright. So we got a few more. We got about at least about 20 minutes left in the session. We'll, uh, we'll complete another star. We're going faster than we did last time, which was great. Uh, let's go into Boulder Bowl Galaxy next. It's time to introduce us to another power-up as well. It's time to rock and roll, baby! This planet, uh, this galaxy introduces us to a new power-up right there! The Rock Mushroom. Or the rock, uh, the rock room, I think it's called. Rock room or rock mushroom. Still, that sounds like a weird name. The rock mushroom is actually a pretty cool power up. Uh, if you see it, you'll actually understand what this power up is, and it's a power up that Bowser used in Galaxy One, but now we can use it for ourselves. As we swing the meme out, we can roll into a ball and uh, smack toes in the face. There we go. And with Rock Mario, we can break extremely hard surfaces. Which means now we can break rocks. With rocks. I know it's not the most creative thing in the bunch. But hear me out there. Alright, time to get this boy lane down and time the bowl, baby! Give me a strike! Yeah, strike, baby! I need a few more so I can get turkey! Yahoo! Uh, there is a weakness to Rock Mario, that when as soon as he does start rolling, he will not stop. Unless he hits a hardened surface. What we need to do is kill these enemies here. We'll try not to ruin our background, or our stopping stuff here. After a while, Mario does tend to stop uh, being in the form. Probably because he's dizzy or something like that, you know. You know how it is. Uh, might want to use the the C button here to reset your camera back behind Mario, so you can actually tell if uh, so you can get your camera get organized or organized and showing where you are. Get out of here! I find this galaxy also to be a good place to grind up star bits because of how much stuff you have to do as Rock Mario as well. Dun, dun, ba, da, bam. And off we go! That Luma there will also tell us that if you shoot a star bit into the golden spots, like so there, a coin pops out. That Goomba is actually, these Goombas are actually important for later. Keep you better that in mind. We don't need to do with them anything with them just yet, but knowing that that they are uh, they are needed for another mission later. Woo! Uh, Rock Mario also cannot destroy the chain chomps. 
So bear that in mind. Ow! Give me that coin. There we go. Need to get out of the mud. Mario, come on. Uh, because, uh, those rocks right there, you can break them with Mario or with Rock Mario. And you can get star bits out of them. Pretty nice way of actually getting star bits. And uh, knowing that I need life, I'm going to go to Lumine Luma Shop to get me uh, a life shroom. That'll be useful. Give me a life. Going up with Exact Shinjo Manano. We're all about to transform! Alright, and if we got a Luma Shop, that only means we have a boss! And what is this boss? An armadillo. This is Rolladillo. And his main gimmick is that he wants to roll into a ball. What we need to do is ram his behind with Rock Mario's rock ability to hit him down. He actually has a few hit points, more than three. So it's actually one of the rare few bosses that this is. Like. He does get dizzy after a while, so when he does get dizzy, then he pulls out of his ball form, and you can actually hit him. The more times he hit, the more times you hit him, the more of his patterns going to increase. He's going to be spinning around a lot more often than normal, so... So watch out for that as well. So he's dizzy, rolling the Rock Mario on his backside. And he's down. Bosses are going down like... Like nothing else, baby. Yes. There we go. Alrighty. And that's it for that star and the common. And we are moving on to more stars. More stars, more planets. But... Oh, never mind her. She seemed to have brought back a was it? A rock, huh? Yeah, good work there, pal. I guess. Uh, well, looks like we got room for it, so I don't mind having it around-ish. Uh... Mario, I have a letter for you! Hey, remember me? I got a new game over in the Fluffy Bluff Galaxy. Come on by and we'll do the whole introduction thing. I want to see what kind of game skills you got. The chimp. Okay, well I guess we'll do that mission next. The chimp has shown himself and we're going to do that as part of the final star for this session. The chimp is back in World 1. Let's see what challenge he has to get. This challenge, though, is quite can be tricky. My first uh, failed session at it, uh, I did pass it, but uh, this time, well, not so much, but we'll see. Uh, this is the chimp stomp challenge. What this is that you have to get over a certain amount of points. Uh, in order to do so, is actually do combo jumps on top of enemies without touching the ground. That is like your best way of doing things. Finally! Say hey! I'm the greatest game player in the galaxy! They call me The Chimp! Nice mustache, by the way. I got this high score of 10k on this game here. Pretty simple! Just stomp the enemies and grab the coins! If you can match or top my score, I'll give you a star and some respect, maybe. So, you game or what? Sure, come up for the match. You're going for 10k points? Haha, <laughs> good luck, you can get pal. We have 120 seconds to do as many, get as many points as we can. Combo the enemies first. And then grab the coins. 
Coins are worth 100. Enemies start off at 100 li hit points as well. But they go, but they combo up to 300. Use this to your advantage. Go after every enemy you can possibly can. The time limit might seem, you know, uh, might seem a little lenient. Uh, better mind though, it's still as strict as ever. Uh, try to avoid kicking the enemies because they don't drop the coins. So find that there. You don't want to do the homing stomp though, because that's actually not very useful. So let's go up this. There's not very many enemies, so always try to combo enemies. And use the spin. That allows you to be stand up in the air as long as possible. Ah, that happened to me too last session too. Oh, I didn't want to hit him like that. Curses. We should have enough enemies enough to do this here. There we go. There we go. We got enough points. Now, unfortunately, we have to run out the time limit, so might as well get as many points as we can. That's it! We did it! I beat your time, the champ! The champ! <laughs> Fantastic! That's 10,960 points! You might be an amazing rival to my own skill! Here's your star! Uh, yes, that won't be the first, that won't be the last time we'll be seeing the chip. We'll be seeing him later more, though. But that is going to give us a star. That is our own star there. And the galaxy is complete. I mean, there is no challenge there.